Hello, puss, puss. Hello, puss, puss, puss. Yard cat. Hi, baby. everyone how are you i hope you're doing well um <clears throat> looks like i've got to finish this um let's see if i can find that picture real quick um again as i said last time I hope everyone's doing well and healthy and staying safe. Um, I know it's a scary time for a lot of people. If you're like me, you uh, you have a lot more to worry about than the average person. And uh, with health concerns and things like that, or family members that have health concerns. And so this adds an extra layer of uh, concern. Um, Maybe you live in an underprivileged area, maybe, you know, you are dealing with financial issues before this even hit, and then this hits you all the harder. Um, it's scary for a lot of people right now, so just know that um, the community is here, I'm here, and um, if you need anything, I know that it's hard to be vulnerable sometimes and admit you need help, but people are here for you so make your voice heard so let's see I need to do all of this detail work all right I think what I've decided to do is I'm still gonna do an Alice in Wonderland um, Alice with the Disney blue dress and blonde hair. Um, but I'm going to do an Animal Crossing body, if that makes sense. So, I need to fill in, oh, excuse me. I need to fill in some of the details first. I think I'm gonna do her last. Um, I also have some stuff, some goodies that came in the mail so that I can um, fix my switch. And I thought I might just do that right now. And 
we can share this process together of me probably getting very frustrated at times and learning as I go how to do this. So I don't know if you can see very well because it's very slight, but I don't even know what happened. Um, one of my children handed this back to me thus um, and if you hear any like heavy breathing that's my husband doing the Hoff method it's the Hoff method right okay he's nodding to me he can't breathe right now um, doing the, the breathing techniques so that is that in case you're wondering <laughs> Um, anyway, so this is slightly, um, off, it's slightly ajar, and, um, it's got a little bit of, as you can see, it still works and everything, it's got a little bit of the ribbon wire sticking out, um, and it, everything looks intact, but obviously it needs to be taken apart and set right again, so... I thought while I was at it, buying the screwdrivers and everything, because you have to have specific screwdrivers in order to fix it. Um, Nintendo has their own screwdriver that's a three-pronged one. <laughs> I thought I should get new buttons while I'm at it um, that are slightly cool. I thought that these, like beetle looking ones would be really cool with, up against the violet colored case and the neon yellow so anyway that's that and hopefully I can get at least right now the um Is taken apart so I can fix that ribbon wire from sticking out. Let's see. I believe, yes, that's the three pronged. So, if you are interested in this kit, they have lots of different colors of buttons as well some metallic, some not metallic. And I will link that in the description. Okay, let's see if I can get this open. and hope that it looks like it's full of gunk. It's so tiny and I'm trying to see if I'm actually making any headway without stripping This looks like it's going to be intensely frustrating. <laughs> I might have to do this in a completely different video because I think this might take me half an hour just to get the screws out. <laughs> well, I will do that later then. It was a good effort. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just get to painting right now. 
but I will still link this down in the description if you would like me to. Oh, right. So I saved the paint. I don't know how well I saved it because I just used this plastic bag. and flowers that I missed and then I'll start working probably on the lines of the slates because that's gonna need to be dry before I start on the character and then I can do all the rest already I don't know if I like that. I already have it on her little violets or pansies. I don't know if I like the way that looks. I wonder if I drag the line a little bit instead of dots. some flowers over again. See if I can get the color. I used before. Mistakes were made. That's not that bad. I mean, it's okay. It's not great.
lessons were learned. So, in this world of the non-stop search for entertainment, what have you guys been watching? Unfortunately, any parent of a toddler or infant knows that we uh, don't really have the same <laughs> benefit to be able to watch um, what's making all those dank memes right now. Um, I haven't even watched Tiger King. I'm halfway there to not watching it just because I don't condone animal abuse. Um, but everyone's telling me I even even though I need to uh, attempt to watch it just because it's kind of a train wreck. Um, but I did get to see onward last night with my girls and i thought that was really really cute i think it's going to be one of those like underrated films i know that it's not everyone's cup of tea and i know that you know considering we're in this situation it might only be um seen by parents and their kids and i know that some kids might not really get um, you know what's behind it and unfortunately it does deal with death I mean it's a Pixar film right so to a certain extent it's going to be you know tugging at your heartstrings um, but I don't know if kids would get the fact that it's basically like here's my perception of it anyway is that it's like if D&D came to life and they decided to live their lives more like our world where they have technology everything's modern and easily accessible at their fingertips and they don't really have to do magic and they don't have to um live that kind of life anymore where they have to struggle and go on quests and things like that and in order for these two brothers to be able to meet a specific goal that is the tug on your heartstrings situation, I won't, you know, spoil it for you, but they need to go back to that quest like um, experience and learn about magic and basically play D&D. &D. Like the eldest kid is involved in this game that is very much like D and D or a, um, a fantasy card game, um, <clears throat> and uh, he knows all of the trappings of this game, and they basically have to rely on one's good sense, um, letting go of being controlling and controlling life and the other ones, you know, um, enthusiasm over geeking out over this game and they have to trust each other and, um, it brings them closer together. Um, so really, really cute, you know, obviously a very cute film and, uh, with a lot of good morals, but I don't know if younger kids, um, who are not at that age where they're experiencing those type of games would get it or appreciate it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some kids out there that would appreciate that sort of thing just because the characters are intriguing. Um, the, um, it's drawn well. Uh, there's a lot of funny moments and sweet moments. I mean, for a lot of kids, if they just see a unicorn or, or a figure from some sort of fairy tale, they're happy. So maybe they'd enjoy that, but it 
definitely is one of those films that I think that is made just as much for the adults as it is for the kids. Because there are so many things and jokes that I recognized from enjoying those types of games. So, even if you don't have kids, I recommend it. It was a cute film. Let's pull it. don't know. Does she have highlight on these as well? No, it doesn't look like she highlighted them to give them any kind of depth. So, I guess I won't highlight these uh, flagstones. I'm going to try to work with the natural lines that I already have here in my specific painting because um, I elongated a lot of these shapes in order to make it make more sense <clears throat> for this um, case. She outlined it? No, she just has dry blocks. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these flowers right here first and then go over these flowers and then go over with the darker that really is black and it looks as if this is a really poor image no we'll do it we'll just go we'll go black and then we'll add in some of these other shapes and then different colors um try to get it as close to what i think those colors may have originally been all right so those look these stems, tell me if I'm wrong, look like they're gray with black shadows and then purple flowers. So let's do the purple flowers first and then the gray. Oh, where are you going? <coughs> Some of you can tell that we're in a new place. I'm sure my studio space looks much different. Um, we moved shortly before the quarantine and lockdown. And uh, we're just starting to get things in when... Um, we went into quarantine. 
So we're still kind of moving in slowly but surely. Um, it's definitely give, given us more things to do to keep us busy. Um, but yeah, a lot has happened. I can't believe I haven't been on since September. A lot has happened since September when I last made a video and things weren't going too well at that point either. And believe me, they didn't get better. Um, I believe one of my last posts was that um, I had been in an accident and uh, that not only put us in a, you know, unfortunate position with my health, and thank God we were, we were okay, and, um, Izzy was in the car with me, and she was okay. Um, but... We had a financial situation with that that we're still trying to deal with. Um, you know, I did my due diligence and immediately went to the ER. And unfortunately, the situation we found when we got there was that they, A, couldn't do a lot for us. Basically took me and my daughter's vitals and then sent us on our way without much help. Basically saying, well, you've gotten, you got an accident, go see your doctor. And that was it. And decided to then charge us for over a thousand dollars for one of us and almost a thousand dollars for the other, for that experience. And, um, couldn't get insurance to pay for it. Um, there was no proof that we had even received any help because we hadn't. We got our vitals taken. We didn't even take an ambulance. I had my husband drive me there, drop me off, um, so he could take care of our other two kids. So we had that <laughs> going into Christmas. Um, and then we had similar stuff that happened along those lines after that. Um, I had a tough time fighting to get my kids insurance because of a new policy that the uh, government has now, apparently, where you have to prove that even your children are not earning an income. I don't even know what to say about that. It is just absolutely ridiculous to even think that that is necessary. Um, but between the county and the government, they were not speaking to one another and exchanging stuff as they should have. Um, and both were pointing fingers at the other as to why, since November, my kids had not had insurance. So I had that to deal with <clears throat> because my infant needed vaccines and needed, you know, to d do things that she needed because I don't know how many of you have kids, but when you first have babies, they have to be seen regularly. And if you don't have insurance, that adds up. <laughs> so that happened. here. Um, then our lease was up and we had been deciding whether or not we were going to get another place. Um, and for a long while we didn't think we were going to find something that fit us all because um, we wanted to get originally get a piece of property with my mom and stepdad that would fit all of us. And that's seven people. 
and we were planning on eventually adding another one and it being eight. And um, there's not a lot of places that would accommodate that many people. So of course that was an issue as well, trying to find some place. We finally found some place and it's absolutely perfect for us. Sets all of us and with room to spare and was under a budget, which was absolutely crazy to, to come across. And uh, <laughs> we get in and quarantine happens. And that was around my daughter's birthday. So we had to cancel her birthday. And then it was around my birthday. And on top of that, I lost a baby. And then got so sick, beyond sick, I'm still sick. And I don't know what I have, what I had. Um, the doctors couldn't tell me a lot because it's all over the phone. And they don't want to, because of the lack of testing, they don't want to just give out tests unless you fit certain criteria. Like, you have to know someone who's been to um, China or traveled recently. You have to be within a certain age group. And if you're not within a certain age group, even though I have pre-existing conditions, um, I would have to get to the point where I'm so winded and not breathing that my lips turn blue and I'm passing out in order to finally get taken in and possibly given a test. So I don't know what I've had, but it has been the worst cold I have ever had in my life. I've never had anything that lasts this long. I feel like I'm on week three. I'm on week three of the cold. Oh God, my husband says that. Brian says I'm almost on week four. <laughs> when you think I'm complaining, we realize I'm actually undershooting. I'm not exaggerating here. <laughs> I still can't breathe. It hurts to laugh. Um, I walk up the stairs and I'm, I'm winded. But I'm here. We're all here still. Most of us are still here, thank God. <clears throat> and uh, I'm still going. So, thank God for that. The odds are not in my favor, but I'm still honorary as hell and pushing through. Let's see, these are, this is really gonna be cute, I think. Is it just me or is this hella cute? So anyway, I'm going to turn away from the, the negativity. That's kind of the update. There's more there, but I don't want to be even more negative. It is what it is, and, you know, we're getting through. Right now, it's just a matter of trying to make really good life decisions that, you know, I'm sure we're all in that position where it's like, okay, are these the things that I want to live through? Past quarantine. What about my life can I change right now so that, A, when something like this happens again, I'm more prepared. B, um, my life was not to my liking before quarantine. You know, not completely, but I'm sure a lot of us have things that we can say that we would have really liked to achieve that we were putting off and making excuses for it. and now it's like damn life is short man we gotta do whatever we really are dreaming of while we can you know it's kind of given us new perspective which is great positive change is always good so those are the things I'm thinking about right now but also trying to be realistic because we do still live in the same world where, you know, college tuition isn't free if you live in the U.S. Um, 
it's hard to get grants even if you're underprivileged. Um, and like me would need an IEP. Um, so there's not much you can do about that, even though a lot of us would love to go back to school after this and experience something else, learn something else, maybe change our careers. Um, and then a lot of us would probably like to travel, do things like that. My whole thing is if you can, um, at any level outside of this, change your life and for the better, go for it. Use this time to, to research, figure out how you can. I know I've been thinking about that. I'd love to, even if I can't use it towards anything in particular and get credits for it because I can't afford it, maybe even take, you know, a few classes in something that I enjoy. I'd really like to be an archaeologist, anthropologist, and have a museum um, studies career. But I don't think I'll ever get to that point or unless things change in the U.S where I can afford the schooling. So. I just will have to be what it is and I'll just have to continue to have my, what I like to call, how do you like them apples education from Goodwill Hunting where I just obsessively read. <laughs> Probably no more than some professors at this point. <laughs> I have an honorary degree, honorary doctorate. Black. <laughs> but yeah, it also has put TTC, which is trying to conceive, into perspective too something that me and Brian have had many conversations about now about what to do and we really don't know I mean none of us have the answers right now for even the smallest of concerns let alone something that monumental that's life-changing and would be life-changing for a life <clears throat> it's a lot it's a lot to think about for sure Achieve. I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to tr achieve some of these dry like strokes that she's known for and not try to get rid of them because that's what she's known for. Some of these organic feeling shapes. Clean or lined or let's see. So I think I was saying before, before I was so rudely interrupted by myself, <laughs> um, what has everyone been watching? What is something that you recommend? And it could be anything. If you know me, you know I like documentaries and stuff about ancient history, specifically around the Mediterranean. So if you have anything that I haven't seen yet, not only will that be a miracle, but I will love you for the rest of my life. We are now officially soulmates, and we're just going to have to deal with everything that comes with that. <laughs> so. Put down a comment about what you're watching, and what you recommend. What is setting your soul alight? What is making you have that 
Lucy Montgomery feeling of that beauty ache. What's giving you that feeling? Let's talk about it. Share with other people so they can experience that too. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to do this shape now. And it really does look black. And I don't know if you can see because I'm probably just glaring. Um, but there is some dark purple leaves on top of the black and then of course these violet royal blue colored ones down here I think I'm just gonna have to go with it and go completely black and just see where we end up I also ordered new brushes because I can't find any of my brushes. This is this is what I'm working with right now. I mean, this is sad as hell. But I mean, for what I have, it's okay, right? I can't believe I lost some of my most important art supplies in this move. I have to have put them all together in a specific box away from my other art supplies so that they would specifically be in a position where I could easily access them and they'd be all together and safe. And with that kind of precaution, I saved them for myself. <laughs> I cannot be trusted with my own art supplies. to put more leaves in here than she has again because we're working with these rectangular long shapes we've got here because of this case We'll just fill that in. Usually listen to music while I'm doing this. I have my record player going, but then we'd all get in YouTube trouble. We don't want to do that. I don't think I want to cover up that little bit of purple completely. This case has a very slight bit of texture, which is great because it's going to grip the paint a little bit more. Um, but it's, I don't know if you can see, it's making me need to um, go over things a couple times. Make sure the paint's not completely watered down.
Those looks like either foxgloves or okay. I don't know what's alongside the foxgloves right here, so I think I'm gonna omit that. See these two little things that are across sticking up? It kind of takes away from this flower system here. So I think I'm just not going to put that in, um, just so we can get, oh, we can get a better idea of what is going on here. something in right here so we can give ourselves kind of idea. Maybe I'll put one right here. We'll end it right here. There. That seems about right. for everybody that I don't even realize. Um, obviously been baking a lot. I know how I like to cook. I'm the, the main cook in the household right now, so um, I'm cooking for everybody. And uh, it's been difficult, of course. It's been difficult for everybody to find supplies. And it's made us a little bit more inventive, you know, as you can imagine. Having to come up with even more um, creative meals. And I like that sort of thing anyway. I like having to think on my toes when it comes to cooking.
So we've definitely been baking. I made Mexican chocolate brownies the other night. They were really freaking good. Um, let's see, what else? Hmm. Obviously been playing games. I've been playing Pocket Camp a lot. I'm still waiting to hear when I can um, get New Horizons, and I'm sure I'm going to be on that all the time. Um... been doing this. Oh, I was just talking about this the other night. I think I have a um, dollhouse to build kit, like a Victorian dollhouse. Um, I think I have it available to me, unpacked, that I can um, start working on it. And it was given to my daughter as a gift um, by my mom, and um, Zoe was never interested in dolls and things like that. Um, she she really hated baby dolls. Um, it was really funny. Um, so. We never put it together, and I offered many times, and she just wasn't, she just wasn't interested. So we just kept it, thinking that maybe eventually she'd want to, um, and I think we might put it together for, um, Izzy, because I think that she'd like that a lot. Maybe we'll make her some pig dolls or something that she can use with it, um, but I thought, um, great content, <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing, I might, um, do videos of me, um, building this thing step by step and decorating it. It's quite large. <clears throat> um, it's your standard size dollhouse. Um. And I thought that I'd probably, you know, do it more antique style, not modern. And, uh, even been told it might be a good idea to, uh, do it like an Adams Family house. And I thought that would be really cute. And then we can make little, um, uh, Adams Family peg dolls for Izzy to play with. I thought that would be really, really cute. So I might do that. And maybe once I get going, Zoe might want to participate. It'll also give her something to do. It's hard on kids right now. The situation, not being able to be around their friends, and you know, they all talk to their friends every day, but it's not the same. It's not the same as being able to play in the playground with them, and um, being able to discuss what they learned in class, and um, enjoy each other's company at lunch just it's not the same we all really need to uh, hold each other close right now and in this situation we can't it's really hard even on the kids during this, my, um, my grandfather passed away, and we really just wanted to be, the family just wanted to be in each other's company, and, you know, you can't. But, you know, we can be here for each other online, and 
and uh, it's been fun being able to um, utilize that to see everybody. See now this one, this little structure going this way is purple and black. So I'll go over it in purple when I'm doing some of this stuff. Um, and the thing is, is that I don't know how it is for everybody else. You know, if you have family that are just down the street. I don't have a lot of that sort of thing since I moved up to Northern California. Most of my family lives in Southern California. So our only option before was when we weren't able to visit was to do FaceTiming and all of that. And we didn't. You know, some of us did, definitely, but not everybody. Um, it was mostly like texts on your birthday and that sort of thing. And I think that, uh, this might change that. We'll see, because, you know, human nature is we forget. We move on after a crisis <laughs> and forget. But I'd like to think that we might use this opportunity to get closer. I'd like to think that, that may happen. Looks like I'm going to need instead of white. Seems to make more sense for inside here and inside here these leaves. 
so see what we can do. Alrighty, put those in to this side over here. about you but I love the despite the organic style of Mary Blair how she expressed distance and um, all the dimension isn't lost um, in her paintings despite the fact that it is very organic and is very, um, you know, a lot of shapes, you still get this incredible space, spatial awareness in her painting. So cool. Alrighty. 
don't want to keep them dark because we want to push the fact that this area is lit up and there's a shadow from here on. So I still want to keep these dark like she has them. on the complete other side of this table because I keep looking at it like, um, is that my water to put my paintbrush? It is not. It is not. I don't think there's an artist out there who hasn't done that. I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally put my paintbrush in my tea or coffee. close enough to the color here that I don't really need to do any mixing. I will probably have to do mixing for the um, lines she has here, um, the veins of the leaves, but I think that's it. tell you guys what, I don't know what I'd do without art during this time. An artist. We always tend to turn to artists during crisis, don't we? We have a tendency to not appreciate them when we have them. And then in a crisis, whether it be war or a situation like this, we find ourselves finding solace and community with their help. From the beginning of time, early times being, um, you know, cave paintings and the hand and, uh, pigment 
blown of handprints in caves. Just simply saying, I was here. I was here. I experienced this sacred place. I'm another one of the people that you see here that experienced this sacred place. I was here to protect my village by experiencing a fear of going into the unknown in this cave to, you know, the keep calm posters. And now we find ourselves once again turning to artists for music, for even streaming and <clears throat> things like this. I know that things like this are vital to me going on YouTube and seeing other artists and what they're doing right now and how they're coping um, and being inspired to do my own thing. So make sure that you support those people in any way you can because I have to tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy being inspired during these times, just as much as it isn't easy for you to be inspired inspired during this time, if you're not an artist. Um, a lot of artists, as cliche as it, as it is, are prone to, you know, having... Um, it's just saying being more fragile. <laughs> being a little bit more empathetic. Um, and that's where they find their ability to create is being able to move through those emotions and um, process that information that everyone else gets in a different way um, and then create out of that. Um, I know a lot of artists that are having a really hard time right now. As introverted as we are, usually, um, it's still hard, you know, there's a lot of fear going on, um, there's a lot of unknowns, um, so if you can't support your local artist, I know everyone is having a hard time right now, and I'm not saying support me specifically at all, um, but if you have an artist friend or family member, um, buy their stuff. I know a lot of artists that they're not they're not selling their stuff for more than you really can afford. Um, or commission. Say, all I have is this much right now. Would you be able to commission something for me? Or buy your friend's music. Even if you don't listen to it, buy your friend's music. Um, find your friends on Spotify. I have tons of friends and family members that have their music on Spotify. And just listening to it in the background... You know, as you're cooking or you're doing something, it helps them. Um, support your fam, man. Right? Okay, let's see. I think all I have left to do is the veins in here. And I feel like... Let's see. It looks as if she lightened... She had the same problem that I'm having right now with her color palette where she's having to lighten underneath the leaves a little bit before, underneath the veins before she does the veins so I will add some white to this a little bit it looks like that really does need some more blue Let's see if what I got. They're very sad amounts in these tiny little containers. Is more like what we want. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. So we'll go in, tuck into that. I'm 
just do some organic shapes, weathering a little bit, just so we can give it some highlight when we do the veins. Now it looks like all we have to do is open on this character. And I will try to find a little. Let's just say I use this as an idea to jump from. That seems like a pretty typical, pretty typical shape, and I can work off of that shape, no problem. I'm so used to doing dark skin tones, sometimes I forget. Ha! 
all y'all white people look. <clears throat> that might actually just be... <laughs> might actually just be the color I need, maybe with a little bit more pink in it. Hey, let a mixed girl know, is that white people skin? <sighs> oh, Lord. Okay. out her shape real quick in all skin tone. Maybe the other colors I pick later will be more of a platform and more vibrant. <laughs> We're gonna get through this, guys.
She's shaping up.
I have to remember to talk. I haven't been talking for a while, I feel like. Although some of you are probably saying, no, this is more relaxing. Don't say a word. I tend to get in the zone. It's hard for me to remember to talk. like something out of Adventure Time. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. it's something that would come out of the tall grass. Finn and Jake would eventually have to fight. <laughs> Flippy-lush! And... I'm thinking blue for her eyes. Without hair is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness.
this is turning into a children of the corn lippet. I think I might just have to accept, guys, that without context, this is a Children of the Corn Muppet.
lipstick. There you have it. That, my friends, is what happens when you mix That's a little better. Ta-da! Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate all of you. Um, and like we talked about earlier and in the last video, please remain safe, stay inside, um, enjoy this time you have with your family, um, in any means possible, whether it be on the phone, over the internet, video conferencing, whatever you can do. And, uh, as hard as it is, you know, try to think positively. Reach out if you need help. Be vulnerable. Um, with the right people. And if you are in a situation where you need help, let a fam know, right? Um, we're all in the same boat and we all need to be here for each other right now. So let me know. Holler at me if you need anything. Um, I will continue to make as many videos as I can when I can. Uh, right now, I think the schedule would be once a week um, on Friday. So yeah, love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you on the next Friday.